More than 24,000 Canadian men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer this year, according to the Canadian Cancer Society. And that number is expected to double in the next 15 years. But according to a new study, doctors are changing the way they treat prostate cancer. At one Ottawa prostate cancer clinic, researchers monitored 477 patients with low-grade mild cases. Of those, 210 opted for the watch and wait approach, where doctors do nothing but monitor to ensure the cancer doesn't get worse. Within a couple of years, about 30% had to undergo treatment, but the majority were still being monitored for changes five years later. Our health commentator, Dr. Danielle Martin, joins us now to talk about this. So let's talk about the benefits of watch and wait. So low-grade prostate cancer very rarely causes death, but the treatments for it can lead to significant disability and problems including impotence and incontinence. So by opting for this close monitoring, what we call watching and waiting, men can avoid the risks of the treatments while still monitoring to make sure that their cancer doesn't cause them harm. Now, cancer. It's interesting. They talk about the use of the word cancer. Now. It is interesting because, it, if you know, if you think about it, when we're identifying large numbers of men as having an abnormality that we see under the microscope, but that may never cause them any harm at all, is it really appropriate to be using the word cancer, which really evokes very strong emotions in people? Would we, would we be better off trying to find different language? And this is not just a problem in the prostate uh, in arena, but in, in all kinds of areas of medicine. The better we get at identifying these abnormalities, the more we have to ask ourselves, what's the right language to use when we see these, uh, these fleeting or uh, slow-growing problems that may never cause people any harm? And, and it may be that we're going to have to develop a whole new language as our technology for identifying these becomes uh, better and better. All right, Danielle, thanks very much. Thank you.